Um, the, the premise, of course, being that we are all unknown to ourselves. We are absolutely racist and uh, horrible people, and we need to have that educated out of us. Um, personally, I think I'm all right, and I quite like my views and beliefs. So I'm going to stick with those, but I have been hauled into the Speaker's office for a telling off later this week. It's um, a lot of money as well. I think we're into about three quarters of a million for the first course that we've all been told to do over the summer and another potentially three quarters of a million on the way. Right. And what is the course called and what's it supposed to do? Uh, so this one that they're planning now is called uh, Unconscious Bias Training. It's exactly as you just said, that uh, we're all closet racists. We just don't know it. Mm. Um, and we need to uh, be re-educated about the language that we use, uh, make sure we don't ever offend anybody, which obviously leads to really good scrutiny in Parliament, as you can imagine, if you're trying desperately not to offend. But it's mad, to be honest, how this, um, in my view, overtly leftist kind of um, programming has been rolled out across the public sector. Mm. Um, lots of people in private sector organisations now, you know, very keen to be seen to be doing um, things like this, the politically correct kind of uh, appealing to the Twitter sphere, and it's been rolled out across the board. And I'm very lucky that I can say no, but I'm conscious that lots of people in workplaces around the country aren't going to have the luxury of doing that. Right. But we know that the biggest indicator of people's life chances uh, in this country is still social class. Um, it's still the economic background that you come from, not your your race or your gender. Right. Uh, and that's something, you know, that isn't a protected characteristic. It's not something that we, we support people with. Um, you know, I've got a big campaign in Parliament about white working class boys who yeah. are, in terms of attainment and, and life opportunity are, are bottom of the list, actually. Yeah. You know, it's common sense for the most part. And the idea that we've all got these, these hidden evils that we're unaware of, you know, um, we all have different backgrounds and experiences. We all learn from our own lives and, and experiences, as I say. And that does give us perhaps um, different ways of viewing the world, different thought processes uh, about people and about how we judge things. But um, that's kind of normal, yeah. in my view. The idea that we should be imposing a certain mindset on everybody, I just think is mad. Yeah. There's this huge pressure on, on the police, but on all sorts of places to kind of conform to it. Um, it's a bit Orwellian in many ways. Mm. I, I keep using an example of the Premier League. Yeah. I don't believe for a second that every single Premier League player believes in the goals and objectives of Black Lives Matter, smash capitalism, defund the police. Yet every single player has taken the knee right. because you can only imagine um, because of fear of the consequences of being the one player that doesn't do it. Yeah. But um, ultimately, obviously, I'm answerable to my electorate and um, the feedback I've had since since the article appeared uh, in the mail this weekend uh, has been really overwhelmingly positive from constituents who are fed up with being uh, preached to uh, or preached at by the, the kind of metropolitan types who, who don't really understand the, the culture of our part of the world in, no. in that perception. Uh, ministers have ordered government departments to scrap the controversial unconscious bias training after an official study said there's no evidence that it works. As a result, Ben is a terrible man. Ben, good afternoon to you. Uh, thanks for that, Ian. There's been all sorts of, of books and studies and things that have come out that have shown that there's no evidence behind this. It's been ideologically driven rather than, than evidence driven and I think is one example of, of how some of this stuff has managed to kind of infiltrate the system over, over decades, really. And you know, the report from um, the, the Department of Equalities uh, has come out today that says uh, says exactly that. You know, these things are a waste of time if they are just a box ticking exercise uh, to appear to be doing something. Uh, having said that, I'm not going to do it. Uh, there were about 40 or 50 colleagues who, who joined in. Uh, we managed to get the House of Commons to back down and, and say it wasn't going to be compulsory anymore. We were going to be able to, to choose. And, and there's been a few of us really, you know, badgering the, the Department, the Equality Department, about this um, ever since and, and really positive decisions today.